Hello and welcome and today we are rounding up the final bit of the electrics from the Auto Expo 2020. Those are my lines. What is wrong with you? We are rounding up all the electrics from the 2020 Auto Expo here on Power Drift and I don't know what hairless's problem is but we are only talking about electrics. So, if I were to have never seen the Auto Expo this year, what would be the top electric car that you would want me to go and see? Hey, I'm going to start with that. Go for it's it. going to be the MG E200 and not E200. But anyways, <laughs> MG2 E200, it is a really, really tiny Wait, the car. The MV E200 is a Mercedes-Benz? Yes. But that's an old car? Yes. Okay, this is the MG E200? Yes. Okay, sorry, I, I'm just terrible with cars. It's Excuse a new me. car which may not really make it to India, but it's a very interesting electric car. Uh, it's got a tiny battery. Is, is the interesting because it's not coming to India? Kind of. I would really like to see it in India sometime in the future, but the reason why it's interesting okay. is because of its size. It's a really, really tiny car. And seats too, it's like a smart car. But since we don't get the smart electric or the smart car, I really wish MG brings this car to India. It'll be fabulous for our traffic conditions. Never knew car guys wanted small cars at all. Strange. Okay, let's talk about something slightly larger and something slightly more relevant perhaps than the E200. I don't know whether that's, this is relevant or not, but definitely the Mahindra Funster. Finally, someone went Funster. batshit crazy and just created something that was just for fun. And I genuinely believe Mahindra is doing a good job with that. Because unlike every other thing that was at the expo, this was an SUV that's also a roadster. So Weird it was cars. a little confusing, uh, but it looked fantastic. And I think I scissor loved it. Doors. Scissor doors. I love the fact that it has scissor doors. Even though that will never make it to anywhere. Yeah, yeah that one. Alright, number three on the electric car list for us would be the what? Is a crazy car. <laughs> it's actually the Renault Quid EV. Uh, disclaimer, that's a bit trying to be funny. Sorry, go for it. Renault Quid EV or the KZE is a small little car. It's ex exactly like the Quid that we get in uh, an internal combustion, guys. Let's move on to the next big and I'm surprised that Maruti Suzuki has not made an appearance on the list and but I think it's have. going to happen now. Yep, they have because the next one on our list is the Futuro E. The only reason it's on our list is because it previews what could be the design language of Maruti's of the future. The car actually looks smashing. It's a proper EV looking SUV, coupe roof line, high ground clearance and lots of concept -y features which I don't think will make production. But inside there is this enormous Touch screen and when I saw huge, that picture, I said the huge. car guys will definitely love it. I think Varun Painter will definitely love it. He has a thing for screens too. What's the final car on our list from the electric? Okay, it's gonna be what, another six of the Auto Expo. Yes, but another MG, and this time is the Marvel X, which he called the Marvel X Men. But anyways, now the future goes ahead into autonomous driving, and this is the only mass-produced autonomous driving car, autonomously no, driving. It's the only mass-produced level three autonomous car. Level three, that's correct, which is. Fully autonomous, it's apart from a few situations. Again, it's not fully autonomous, it's level 3. Fully Sometimes autonomous I keep thinking that more. I'm in no, no longer in the journalism three, space, five. I'm sort of in level a game is, universe is because there are cars itself, with like, levels and... Stop arguing with me! So this is the future you're heading for, ladies and gentlemen. Our powertrains will become hopefully cleaner and people like them just don't want to drive them because they'll be so boring or something like that. So I don't fully understand it, but that's where you guys are heading in the car world. But I also know what is coming to a close and that would be our coverage of the 2020 Auto Expo that is being held just outside Delhi. Thank you so much for watching. This show comes back every two years. So in 2022, we will be back with more Motor Show updates from the Auto Expo. But the Motor Show update series now heads to Geneva where the Geneva Auto Show will kick off early in March and we will send two people from Powerdrift to cover that show and that would be these two. Be afraid. <laughs> be very afraid.